how's it going? Received the silver perch and the jade perch today. Uh, we ordered uh, 50 of each for the fish farm next to me here and also the aquaponic system and my parent system uh, when we end up making it. Um, these little guys are very, very small. They are so tiny. Um, we've had to make a few alterations to the slow pipes and things like that to accommodate them. The first jade perch we got um, were a lot larger, about two to three times the size of these guys. So yeah, I wasn't ready for the um, size. I'd, I'd read on the website, but yeah. We got them from um, South East Queensland Fish, by the way. Um, so there'll be a link in the description to those guys. The fish turned up next day, all fine. Uh, no deaths in the bag whatsoever. Right, yeah, so these are some of the fingerlings we've got. I think these might be the silver perch. They're all hiding down the side there, as you can see. Oops, zoom out a bit. There you go. Um, there doesn't look to be any dead ones at the moment. At the moment, I shouldn't say that, should I? Um, there doesn't appear to be any deceased in transit. The pH is good at 6.5 in there, and it's 6. Point, what was it, Dad? 6.7 in the system. So these guys are going to be having a little bit of a settle in in the tank in their plastic bag, um, just to acclimatise temperature wise and we'll let them do that for half an hour or so and then we'll start adding in some of the system water into the bag just so they can get used to the um the water in the system slowly so we'll get that sorted i've got these clamped in the fish tank these guys here these small wee tackers there i would think would be silver perch I'll go out and show you the other ones and the other ones down in here they're a bit hard to see, they've mucked up the water a bit. Um, there you go, you can see them through that side down there. They'd be the jade perch, they're the first ones I showed you. So they're a little bit larger. So other than that, they look pretty much all the same. These guys here, the suspected jade perch, they've been in there for about a um, quarter of an hour now. So I'm going to add in uh, about three cups of water from the system. Just drizzle that in there. Add a bit more air into there and I'll do that another two times and then we can get these guys released into the big fish tank. So I'm just getting ready to put these silver perch into the system now, or what we think is silver perch, pretty sure they are. Just show you the temperature and the pH, we've got the temperatures falling slightly. Um, this pen takes ages to find the true temperature, but the pH is stable at 6.8 and in the bag here with the little fish, there's a fish down in there. We're sitting at 6.7, whee, it's gone down. So uh, it'll bump up to 6.8. So I'm really happy with the way this has gone, just adding those four lots of water in over a bit over an hour's time it's taken. So temperature's pretty much all the same. So we're just gonna release these guys now. These are the jade perch. Just tip it up slowly and release them. We've had three lots of water come through. And they don't want to come out. This seems to be around the food. There we go, a couple of them are out. Oh, they're so cute. Ah, no, you've got a few stuff. Yep. It's alright. So there's a couple. There's one left that doesn't want to come out. Or is he out now? He's yep, he's out now. I've just turned the water off in this system just so we can see the little fellas swim away. Just pop them down over here. Lift them up from the back. Silver perch are away. And I throw some crumble in for these guys. Yep, just some stuff we made up. We'll see what happens. This is the jades. And they're feeding. So we didn't get any crumble with the order, but what we did was um, spin up some one mil pellets. And these guys are going flat out at it. So I'm really impressed with that. Just to show you the feed that we're giving them, uh, these are little floating one millimeter native fish pellets. And all I did was 
put them in the food processor or a little bullet blender just give them a bit of a buzz and it's made this sort of crumble mix so there you go there's a bit of a look at introducing the jades and the silver perch into the fish farm um, I didn't show you before I came down and did readings on the nitrite and ammonia um, the nitrite sitting between one and two ish might be more towards two and the ammonia is round about the two ish as well mark um, I'm happy with that the system's been salted with point five parts per thousand or one kilogram of sea salt pure salt and that's going to guard against the nitrate uh, poisoning them and giving them brown blood disease um, it's an oxygen problem they have with their blood it turns the blood brown the ammonia the ammonia um, the pH has been brought down so as long as you've got a fairly low pH below seven a lot of the ammonia is in the form of ammonium um, there's a clip, good clip by Dr. Nate Story, I'll pop a link in the description below um, on ammonia and ammonium. Um, just explains how it all works and which form is toxic and which isn't and at what pH level it all occurs. Also too, the water temperature is fairly cool. It's um, 22, oh, it's jumping up close to 23 at the moment and then down to 20 um, first thing in the morning in this system. So when you have a, a low water temperature too, ammonia isn't as toxic to fish as well. So, so all those things combined mean that we don't need to flush out water and do water exchanges for the time being. I don't think we'll end up having to do that. We might, you know, we'll see how we go. Um, so there will be links to the charts below um, that explain that and show you the different levels with your pH and your water temperature. Um, Earthen Group had a chart. Um, I've spent the last couple of days trying to find it. I can't. So if um, Paul can point it out to me, I'll pop it in the description below. Other than, than that, there are other ones online, so they'll be down there as well. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm mighty happy with the way it's gone. Rather chuffed, actually. Um, pretty much we're going to call it quits there. I've yabbered on enough. Um, if you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, pop them in the comment section below. And fingers crossed, there'll be an update with no dead fish in the very, very near future, uh, just showing how these guys go. So, I'll catch you then. Take it easy, guys. Forgot to mention that we dispatched the perch that were in the system cycling the fish farm. Uh, these guys are going to be turned into fish nuggets with a um, beetroot salad, I think, for dinner tonight. So a couple of leafy greens from the patch down the back.